Hotel Nuclear. In previous videos, I touched upon the importance of compatibility between your stereo components. I wanted to make a video exclusively about this subject because I feel very strongly about it and I have witnessed with my own ears the result of properly pairing system components and getting a marvelous result that is much bigger than the sum of their parts. And what I mean by this, I want to illustrate using a real life example, something, a fictional story that could be real, that might help you understand or just picture better what I'm talking about. Let's start with a scenario that involves a couple meeting at a Hollywood Hills party. And at this party, these two people parked their car, when these got to the valet, they both got out of their cars, they looked at each other, and uh, one, one member of this, of this coupling, extremely good looking, physically fit, great job, good sense of humor, just charisma beyond belief, a highly refined individual, okay? Uh, someone who knows how to dress really well, someone who's a very, very good, you know, good, good speaker, just, just someone who really makes a great impression. And on a deeper level too, very intelligent, witty, just has all these qualities. It's just, it's just, it's just sickening. It's just ridiculous. Meets another person. This person's attractive too, has a decent job, solid, you know, tells a good joke once in a while, doesn't take doesn't take himself too seriously. You know, a great, great person, but not like someone who you're gonna go, oh my God, that, that's unbelievable. Like just someone who's kind of normal, but solid. So these people get together and they go out on a date. And what happens? You know, they have a few things in common here and there, but after about two weeks, they hate each other. They just, they, they just, there was an attraction originally, but they just didn't work together. It just was just not working. So what happens in scenario number two, in the supermarket, in the frozen food section where you find a variety of frozen pizzas, and two people come here and, they, and they, they're looking for their favorite frozen pizza because they love once in a while just staying home forgetting the, the, the crowds and the bars and the restaurants, just making a frozen pizza and watching a movie at home is something they both really enjoy. Not every night, but they do it occasionally. So this guy and this girl, they're like, whoa, you're kind of cute. Yeah, you're, yeah. Anyway, they get along. They, they notice each other for whatever reason, energetic reason. And they're both not stellar creatures. They're, they're, they're average to a little bit above average, you know, pretty nice looking. Uh, they both have good jobs. They're both funny. They're both intelligent, but they're not like genetic masterpieces by any means. But they work together and they go out on a date and they hit it off famously and they end up making beautiful music together, getting married as they say, making beautiful music together. And eventually, they have a family and live happily ever after. Why? Not because they were both perfect beings, but because together they were more powerful than the sum of their parts. This is the point I wanna make with your stereo system. This second scenario, I say, is this. The stereo system that I've taken some time now to create that is made up of components, none of which are top of the line. They're all moderate to lower end audiophile products. They're not that expensive relative to what you can spend. Of course, they're more expensive than a lot of things, but relative to what you can do, it's moderate pricing, it's lower level audiophile, but everything that I have in the chain works famously together. Everything blends well, everything has a harmony. And I wanna explain this concept with actual components so that you can at least have an idea of a system 
that to my ears sounds incredibly wonderful. And that when you put these components together that really work well together because of the characteristics, the amount of power that this amplification through the Rotel, I have a Rotel 1552, 1572 pairing of a amp and preamp. That powering the 60 XDI Martin Logan speakers. These are efficient speakers, but when you use 125 uh, watts of power, there's a really good result coming from. You're getting just enough. You're not getting too much. The sound is really, really wonderful. From that heart, which I'll call the couple, you know, the amp and the preamp would be like the husband and wife. They fall in love and make beautiful music and eventually have a family. And this stereo system is the whole family that love each other and get along very well. And as a result, the music that you hear coming from these speakers is glorious. And I would bet that if I sat a professional engineer or a designer of audio gear in the sweet spot in this room and played them a really good pressing on the turntable, they would not disbelieve that they were listening to a $100,000 system because it sounds incredibly good. Any level of volume, any intensity, any kind of music, it produces and performs incredibly well. And it's a testament to compatibility. For instance, the X2 Project Turntable. I upgraded to a HANA cartridge. With that tone arm, this particular model, it's compatible, works very well. But it wouldn't had I not upgraded my phono stage because the Rotel contains a phono stage that isn't really designed for a moving coil cartridge. Once I had that in place, I was able to maximize not only the potential of other moving magnet cartridges, but a really good quality moving coil. And this is not the Sutherland KC Vibe. is not a very expensive piece of gear. It's $800, it was eight, $900, which has made a stellar improvement in the performance of the turntable. So this is what I'm trying to illustrate, how important it is that I took the time and did the research to see, to, to read the specs, to see that these things were probably made to go well with each other, a little bit of trial and error, but ultimately the sound is so much beyond the sum of its parts. It's a happy family living in harmony is basically the analogy. So those are the components, those are the results. That is what I wanted to talk about today. So you don't have to spend a fortune. Remember, you are probably only gonna sound as good as your weakest link. You don't wanna spend $30,000 on stereo speakers if you don't have an amplifier that's going to really give you the refinement that's going to make those speakers sing. So this is the point of today, and I hope that to some degree it gives you faith that you don't have to spend crazy money to really get an expensive sound out of your stereo system. So thank you so much today for listening, and wherever you are, it's Friday. I don't know when you're going to see this, but have a great day, have a great weekend, and take care of yourself. And enjoy your listening. Bye-bye.